How little in life is planned, and yet, in the end, the story appears. I was a disappointment to my mother. I was not the beautiful daughter she had wanted. And the problems that I was experiencing in my life with adults who were sexually abusive, threatening, hurtful, I knew my mother couldn't handle that. So I kept trying to deal with my own sexual and emotional abuse by myself. I was not able to do it, and yet I kept trying because I didn't know another way. I remember my mother saying, if you don't be good, I'm gonna put my hat and coat on, walk out of here and leave you. I remember crying and saying, Mama, don't go. And I think I spent the rest of my life attempting to please people so that they wouldn't walk away and leave me. When I was much younger, I discovered that there were certain things that were non-mentionable. Being someone who has caught somebody else's attention and the attention that you were receiving was a sexual attention. And even as I say it now, I find myself going around saying it straight out that I had been sexually abused. What appears on the surface at times as belligerence or as just self-neglect, self-harm, harm of others, this incredible cover-up for a pain that they have not yet been able to name. Imagine yourself in the safe place, the place where you can come together, where you can open your arms, open your hands, and dare to open even more deeply your heart. First of all, to yourself. You are in the safe place where you can sit or stand or lie down. A place where you do not have to stand tall nor stoop love, a place where you can simply be. 